Sunday Night Football on NBC. There's a money-making opportunity between the Cowboys and 49ers. Free play coming up with analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down what on paper historically be a huge game. Cowboys 49ers going all the way back to the 80s when I was a child. Some memorable moments, but this is actually kind of a maybe a loser leave playoff picture matchup here between two teams that have definitely underperformed so far this season. Cowboys, of course, enter at three and three, fortunate to maybe be three and three. The Niners actually a worse record, three and four, and that's because Dallas is coming in off their bye week and San Francisco is banged up. Uh, they've definitely lost some key players, and uh, they're the walking wounded. And it's interesting. We always talk about that Super Bowl curse where teams that lose, that are the runner-up, often don't make the playoffs the following season. That's actually been debunked here the last couple decades as the majority of Super Bowl losers the last 10, 15 years have made the postseason. But one that hasn't, the most recent actually, was the 2020 49ers that went just 6-10 and 10 after losing the Super Bowl the year before, losing Super Bowl, um, what was it, 54, I believe, with a 13-3 and three record. And the big theme that year in 2020 was injuries for San Francisco So yeah, this team might not necessarily bounce back, and I do think Dallas having the bye week was a huge scheduling edge. In fact, we saw what happened to San Fran last week facing a Chiefs team off the bye. So I'm going to stay away from the side here, two desperate teams that will play hard. I like the over 47, and there's several reasons why. First of all, Dallas is coming in off the bye week. I always look for offenses to perform off the bye, especially when they struggled offensively before the bye, and that was definitely the case with Dallas. Um, they were fortunate to go 1-1. One and one. They had that narrow one at Pittsburgh on Sunday night, despite a 3-1 turnover deficit. And then, yes, the 47-9 loss against Detroit was ugly. But keep in mind, they had a 5 nothing turnover deficit in that game, which greatly hindered them. They still had over 440 yards of offense in that Pittsburgh win, despite putting up only 20 points. And with the bye week, I do th- expect the offense to play a lot better now. San Francisco's offense has actually been fine this season. The problem has been the defense. And I talked about this a few Thursday nights ago. And by the way, I've been trying to do every Thursday night game for you, every Sunday night, Monday night game. So if you're liking these videos, by the way, thumbs up, like, and comment below. Let me know, and I will keep them coming because I read the comments. But uh, the Thursday night plays have been great. Five and one the last six weeks since I started doing the Thursday night games each week for you. And one of them was the over in that Seattle-San Francisco game a few Thursdays back. Even use that for my clients, my personal clients at Wager Talk. You know, a lot of these TV games don't make the client card, but that was one that did. And what I pointed out in that Thursday night video a few weeks ago, if you recall, is that San Francisco defensive numbers this year have been very mediocre. Uh, they're giving up 22.5 points a game against teams that average just 21.5. They're giving up 5.6 yards per play against teams that average 5.6. Um, Dallas on the season, 5.4. But they face tougher defenses that allow 5.0, a weaker defense that allow 5.8. But once again, with the bye, I think Dallas will be able to move the ball in this game. But the San Francisco offense, despite the 3-4 and four record, and despite a bad show in last week, obviously, against Kansas City, Purdy did not have a good game. It was not Purdy, but I do expect him to bounce back. San Francisco offense has still been really good this year. 6.6 yards per play against teams that allow just 5.7 on average. Dallas has given up 5.9 this year to teams that average just 5.6. So... This offense is almost a yard per play better than the overall schedule the Cowboys have faced. So I look for both offenses to have the edge. I mentioned Purdy had a bad outing. Prescott had a terrible outing in that Lions game before the bye. We have two what I still consider Class A quarterbacks in bounce back spots. We talk a lot about this in baseball. When you have a Class A pitcher off a bad outing, we always look to play on him. As long as something's not physically wrong. And Purdy is banged up, but he's going to play. I expect both quarterbacks to have bounce backs against very mediocre defenses. And on top of that, this line is lower than it would have been just a week ago. In fact, the look-ahead bettable line last week before the um, game against Kansas City, the San Francisco game, of course, the Cowboys were on a bye, so it didn't affect it. DraftKings had a look-ahead line last week of 7-49. and 49. Now it's 4-47. and 47. So this is almost a field goal lower, and the, and the over-under is a couple points lower as well. Side worries me, though, because I do think Dallas will play well off the bye week, and 49ers are banged up. So let's look at the total, over 47, Cowboys 49ers, Sunday night football, 820 Eastern on NBC. Hey, let me know your thoughts on this game. Side, total, player props. I love when you all include player props because I read the comments and I do reply back. Include any player props you're looking for in this game. Obviously, I would lean offensive guys over for yards and production because I do think it'll be a high-scoring game. Um, Once again, other NFL plays you like this weekend as well. If you're catching this during the daytime, include some other plays. If you're catching this right before kickoff, Best of luck on Sunday night with the over here. And don't forget, a lot of these TV games don't make my client card. I mentioned that 5-1 and the last six Thursday night free plays I've given you. Only one of those made my client card. But my best bets, which go out to my personal clients, are the exact same games I'm playing. And I'm very selective. 
maybe one to two games on a weeknight, three to four on a Saturday, two to three on a Sunday. The selectivity, though, has paid off. I'm number one this year in all sports profit, up over 170 units in all sports this year. And it's not a fluke. Every sport's been contributing. Baseball, number one overall units won. College and pro football combined, number one as we head into the weekend. NBA is off to a great start. Already a 2-0 start, the first two NBA best bets. And it's not a surprise. I'm up over 200 units in the NBA alone the last three seasons. And number one all-time in NBA profit in the history of wagertalk.com. And right now is the only time of year in which baseball, football, and basketball is all going at once. So yeah, it's a great time to be an All Sports All Access member. And right now I have two special offers through this weekend, a 30-day and a one-year. You pick the one that works best for you. By the way, it doesn't matter which package you choose, a one-day, a one-month, a one-year. Every client gets the exact same plays every day because you're getting my personal best bets. The minute I release them, they're emailed directly to everybody, and you get the same plays each and every day. Now, a one month, you get an instant $50 discount this weekend only. No promo code needed. That gets it down to about $8 a day. Or the one-year all-access is the best offer. With promo code SM365, you get an $811 instant discount at checkout. That gets it down to exactly $99 a month, just over $3 a day, just over $1 a play. Once again, if you want to try out a smaller package, I get it. Many of you have been watching winter after winter pass you by. You're still building your bankroll. Hey, that's why I'm giving you a $50 discount on the 30-day automatically. But if you're ready to take a true investment approach, I'm bringing back that extremely popular promo code that I've been mentioning this season, SM365. Gets it down to about a dollar a play. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash SM. You don't have to memorize these promo codes and special offers. They're posted on my homepage every day. You can also see the last 20 best bets recap daily. Click on any of them to read the analysis after the game start. And don't forget also, a free play is posted throughout the week, almost every day of the week. Now that basketball is here, we'll have a lot of daily free plays as well in basketball. So once again, check out the free plays. Check out the special offers. But don't miss another winning weekend pass you by. We've been smoking it this year, up over 170 units this year. And there's still more two more months to go in 2024. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Comment below. Once again, I read the comments. I reply back. If you're liking these free play videos, I will keep them coming. Thumbs up, like is greatly appreciated. Smash it. Boom, you did it. I appreciate it. And don't forget, when you click subscribe, hit that bell as well so you never miss the free play videos when they're posted. And you also get an instant alert when my NFL Fade the Public video goes up each and every weekend here on the channel. So once again, subscribe and click that bell. And don't forget to follow me on social media. Getting more active on Instagram. Yeah, I'm on IG. Who knew? On X as well, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.